Hello friends, Kishan is here again from KK Java Tutorials. In previous video tutorial, we have talked about the different kind of uh, caching strategy in Hibernate. Now, in this video tutorial, we will see some practical example. So, first of all, uh, I am going to start from session cache. So, in this video, we will explore how session cache or first level cache works in Hibernate. Right? To make this demo, I have already created a project, it's called Hibernate First Level Cache example. Here I have a very simple entity class, it's called employee, uh, which, which is having some fields. Uh, let me show you guys, my computer is a little slow. So this is my entity class, which is uh, binded with our employee entity class, right? So table name is called employee itself with first letter small now here we have a id is a primary key and uh, uh, there is one more field is called username that's we have defined as a natural id right and now here i have a insert record client test which basically inserts two employee object into database so it's pretty straightforward right now what i'll do uh, if you look into the the hibernet cfg.xml then you can see what database schema name we are using over here database schema is test and my sql server is running on 4406 now i'm gonna run this uh, project uh, not this but i'm going to run this class which will basically insert two records into our database so let me show you my database my database is right now clean slate there is no table as of now so hibernate will create table for us and that will insert a two record for us right so let's run this class insert record client test now once you uh, run this class then you will see uh, employee table will be created and there would be a uh, two records right right so now let's come back now we have another client program there I'm gonna show you how session cache or first level cache in hibernate works so I have created a, a different methods to make this demo. So first method we have a session cache for insert record, right? So here in this method we are going to explore how first level cache or session cache works in Hibernate. Guys, before starting, before looking looking into this method, let's try to try to understand session cache is a first level cache in Hibernate, and that is enabled by default. As a developer, you cannot disable it even. So Hibernate always makes enable this caching, first level caching or session caching and you as a developer you cannot disable it even, right. So here what I am doing, I have declared a transaction outside of the tribal log. Here we are creating the session, we have created an employee object and here we have begin the transaction. Now we are saving this object into the database, right and we are getting the return as a primary key which is type of long. Now what, so when this line of code will be executed, then Hibernate is going to trigger us insert query, right. Now you are asking for the same inserted record by specifying this primary key, which is written by this insertion query. Now what do you think? To execute this line of code, Hibernate is going to query the database? No. Guys, so when Hibernate is going to save this object into the database at that time, Hibernate will save it and that will save uh, this object into the session cache or first level cache as well. So when you ask for the object with the same identifier then Hibernate will first look into the cache if this object with this primary of uh, if employee object with this primary key is not available in the cache then Hibernate will hit to the database else that will return from the session cache itself because you are continuing with the same session. If you close the session and you reopen the new session then hibernate first time will hit the database and after reading the this object that will save into the data uh, uh, session cache so that we'll see separately but in this uh, method we are going to explore uh, while saving the object into the database hibernate save this object and after saving that will save into the session cache as well and this object will be returned to the session so let me show you the after running you'll see there will not be any uh, select query to be triggered for this line of code and this signifies that Hibernate uh, returning this object from the session cache itself so I have ran this program 
now here you can see only insert query you see over here right and this object is returning so this ob object is coming from the session cache itself so insert query because of this but there is no select query has been triggered for this line of code when you ask from the hibernate to give me the object with this identifier right so this signifies that this object is in session cache itself pretty straightforward now i'm going to comment this method and let's go to the another method here this method says session cache read by primary key right so already we have seen in previous demo right after uh, inserting the record we looked uh, with the same identifier uh, right and that uh, object uh, got returned from the session cache still i have uh, created a separate method to make this demo now here uh, again we have a primary key one and we are reading data from the database so first time hibernate will look into the cache that object obviously that will be not available in the first level cache or session cache so for this line of code hibernate is gonna trigger a select query right select query means hitting the database and that same we are printing over here again i am asking from the hibernate by calling the get method right there we are passing a identifier or primary key i am asking for the same object at this time hibernate is not going to hit the database because this while reading this object here hibernate will save into the database as save into the session cache and when second time you are asking the same object right then that will return from the session cache, cache itself so you'll see there is only one select query right so second time onwards this object will be returned from the session cache itself so if you see into the console after running this method there would be a single select query right here you can see hyphen has triggered a select query and that's got printed and now second time when you ask for the this object right with same identifier then that is getting written from the session cache itself here one thing i would like to clear you uh, here whilst uh, reading data from the database hibernate this records got saved into the session cache if you would like to delete this record from the session cache then you have a method is called session dot evict you can say and evicts there you can pass this object if you do session dot evict then hibernate is going to uh, fire two query for both line because uh, while reading this object hibernate saves this object into the cache and after that you are removing that object from the cache so when you ask for this object then hibernate first look into the cache and that already you deleted by calling the session dot evict and you pass this object right to the evict method then at this uh, in that scenario hibernate is going to trigger two select query you can try yourself or second method we have a session dot clear which will clear all the objects which is under the that session cache right so clear method to clear all the objects from the session cache and evict method is basically used to uh, evict or delete a particular object from the cache so that's all about that that you can try yourself now let's move to the next method next method we have a session cache session cache read by natural id right so session cache also works for natural id as well right so here user id we had defined as a natural id right here you can see so when you read data from the database by natural id right so here what we are doing uh, we have a user id is called so name and here uh, we are calling a method is called by simple natural id and here we are passing the natural id right so once you read from the database based on the natural id then hibernate hibernate saves this object information into the first level cache again okay? just like a, uh, when you read uh, by identifier or primary key and when you second time asking for the same object that will be returned to the uh, return to the session cache itself but in this case hyphen is going to trigger a two sql two select query for this only because you are selecting based on the identity uh, natural id right but so hyphen is going to trigger two sql query select query for this line of code only now let me show you so after running this method hibernate is basically trying to select a first a uh, id identifier where username you we have supplied from here right so 
so based on the user name hibernate is selecting a primary key and that primary key basically hibernate assigns to this select query right this select query and that's the reason hibernate has triggered two query but uh, this two query has been fired for this line of code only but second time when you ask for the same object same object then hibernate so after printing this hibernate is not going to trigger any select query that means this record is coming from the session cache itself so session cache also works when you select data by natural id not only by primary key right so these things you will have to keep in mind now let's go to the next method now next method you have a session cache for update record now here you can see he what i have done uh, I have a employee ID one. Now I would like to update his password in database. So first of all, I would like to retrieve this object by this identifier. So after that, I'm just printing over here and I'm checking employee one not equal to null. Then I have began the transaction and changing the state of this object. Just I'm setting the new password. After that, I'm committing the result. Right. So when this line of code gets executed then hibernate basically reads data from the database and uh, that will save into the first level cache as well now if you modify this object and completing this result then hibernate will update this object into the session cache as well when you ask for the same object right with same identifier then hibernate will return this object from the cache itself right so you'll see how many select one select query one update query and there would be no further select query for this line of code because this object will be returned from the cache itself so in this case hibernate first retrieve the record if you modify that record then that uh, gets reflected that's that that's, uh, gets updated into the cache as well right so let's run this program and let's see how many queries getting triggered by the hibernate So here you can see the console first select query has been triggered because we are selecting based on the identifier. Now uh, same got printed because we have already done twisting method and now heaven is, has triggered update query and after that no further select query because this object returned from the cache itself and here you can see the password is the latest password what we have updated right. So this was the example in case of the updating a record based on the identifier now last but not the least we have in case of delete so here basically we are retrieving the record from the database so select query will be fired now we are deleting from the record so this will delete record from the date uh, session cache itself right when you delete this record from the database when you ask for the hibernate to give me this uh, object with the same primary key then hibernate first look into the database uh, first cache right and that will not be there because we have deleted so hibernate this just deletes from the database as well as from uh, session cache as well so we'll get the second query to be triggered for this right because this object will not be available in the session cache and that's the reason in second time also hibernate will fire query in the database now let me show you So how many select query, two select query, one delete query you'll see on the console. Cool. Here you can see console. First time Hibernate has triggered select query. Now the state of object got printed because we are printing this house. Now Hibernate has triggered a delete query. So that's deleted object from the database as well as from the cache. Now second time when you select same object with the same identifier that Hibernate first look into the cache and that is not available that's what Ivan is hitting the database and that's 
that is coming as a null because this object is no longer in the database. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video tutorial. Thank you so much.